What's up everyone, Acid Glow here. I was playing around with the Marauder in Doom Eternal, just looking at its attack patterns, animations, and how it reacts to various weapons. It's the only boss in the game that really makes you focus on it, and considering it has a shield that it can use at any time, it forces you to play this mid-range game, just waiting for his weakness to be exposed. I wanted to make a video to see various weapon combinations you can use against him and how effective they are. By now, everyone should know that when his eyes flash green during its melee attack, this is when his body is vulnerable to damage. So while most new players will use the super shotgun to stun him on the first hit and then use the super shotgun again for free damage, there are other combinations we can use to get more damage. I was experimenting to see the different options we have, which ones can have the highest DPS and at what cost. The first thing we need to focus on is see which button either on PC or console is set to switch weapon. You'll be using this during this encounter, and it's meant to switch between only two weapons very quickly. You won't be using a weapon wheel because that's slower. Select your first weapon as the super shotgun and the second as the ballista. The key here is practicing the timing to shoot the super shotgun, then quickly hit the switch weapon button to bring up the ballista, fire off one shot, then switch back to the super shotgun and fire once more, for a total of three shots. If you time this just right, you can stun the marauder on the first hit, then get two extra shots for more damage. The super shotgun has a wider spread, so your chances for hitting him just for the initial stun is a bit higher. This will help new players early on. The ballista used for the second shot will do a ton of damage, and it can be used at any range in case you are pushed back. If you can only manage two shots each cycle, then it's okay. At least that did more damage than using the shotgun two times. So you might be thinking, we want the second shot to do a lot of damage, right? Correct. But what else can do more damage? I went ahead and tested the Arbalist mod with the Ballista. Yes, it can do a huge amount of damage, but the risk is not worth it. You see, the charge up time is really slow. There might be times you can get the explosion to hit, but other times the Marauder will recover before that happens, so this combination is not that useful. What about the Super Shotgun? then using the primary fire of the rocket launcher for the second hit. Well, the rocket launcher does have high damage, but the rocket is not that fast, which can lead to it even missing the target in some angles. The splash damage also pushes you to keep your distance, and that poses a problem. The farther you are, the more distance the rocket has to cover, which gives the marauder time to recover and block the attack. So this combination is not worth the effort. I also tried the lock-on burst mod for the second hit during the stun phase. It can do insane damage, but the charge up time is so slow, which gives the marauder the chance to recover. There's even the chance that only one rocket can hit. It's not consistent enough to hit with all three rockets, so again, this combination is not worth the effort. I did try the lock-on burst mod with the rocket launcher, but without the shotgun. While it can be devastating on the Marauder, the chances of him being open for all three rockets is slim. It's just not consistent every time. We also have the BFG. It's been very effective against other bosses, but will it work on the Marauder? Well, let's try it out. Nope. It's very rare that the BFG will do its full damage. The Marauder just puts up his shield. So using the BFG in this manner is putting a lot of ammunition at risk. Let's try the super shotgun and stun the marauder, then hit him with the BFG. Will it do enough damage? Yup. Okay, so that works. He is stunned long enough for the BFG to charge up and still hit him. I tried this out many times and it's been very consistent, but the downside to this is that a single BFG shot will take a lot of your ammo. What about the Unmaker? Well, let's give it a shot. Yes, that does work, but the BFG would almost guarantee to destroy the Marauder right away. The Unmaker has potential, but if you were to use that ammo type, I'd go with the BFG. What about the Crucible Sword? Well, the problem here is he will always have his shield up most of the time. 
If you stun him, then switch weapons, the sword swings through his body, but no damage is registered. I heard that you can stun him with frag grenades, and it is possible to do an instant glory kill on him, but I was unable to replicate it after so many attempts. It must be down to a specific frame, but this never occurred. Either way, this is not a viable option. But the combination that can get you the most damage with little ammunition would also require some good aiming. That would be the ballista for the first hit, super shotgun for the second hit, then ballista again for the third hit. Why does this order have more DPS? Well, the ballista has more damage in a single shot and can be used at any range. Whereas the super shotgun has a spread hit scan effect some of your shots might miss the target, therefore resulting in less damage. So if you are pushed back, at least you have the chance to shoot off two ballista shots at any range. One last strategy involves the use of either the super shotgun or ballista. After the first stun phase, rush behind the marauder, shoot him in the back as he recovers. If you get the right timing every shot, he will be stunned until he is defeated. It's a tricky technique but it does give you another option. So that's it for this video. It was just a quick tutorial I wanted to share with everyone. I hope this helped you out. If you have any feedback or suggestions, just share it in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.